Hello everybody, welcome back to Hazecraft. Um, I'm having a little, little bit of issues joining the Ucraft server right now, so another episode of Hazecraft is what that means. And today, still in the storage system, I actually moved this over by one, built another one on this side and have just been planning where the rest of these are going. You can see I have plans for two more modules here with, and they'll have a space between them. And then here in the middle, we're gonna do some bulk storage. Oh, I guess I don't need six, I only need three. Okay, cool, that'll be better because I'm gonna do three on this side, three on this side, and then two more modules. A lot of storage is what it's gonna be. Uh, I think these are the six that I sort of wanna store in bulk. I can't really think of anything else. Um, and I mean, we'll have lots of these, uh, these will be double chests, and we'll have lots of them in these one, two, three, four, five, six modules here. So we shouldn't be too short on storage. This will sort of get the bulk of it out of the way, and then we can have like a full double chest for log types or something like that. I haven't I haven't worked out exactly what uh, I'm going to be storing where, but. As you can see, and as I can't fly, I have started. Check, see if there's anything in there. There is not. Cool. Started with a item elevator here because for the bulk storage, it's going to use more of a traditional item sorter to put them in the bulk storage, which means we need. Oh, come on, are you serious? Uh, which means we need to get the items up high, and these will probably even go higher than uh, higher than these modules, but that's okay. I sort of have an idea for a design for them, and I think it'll be pretty neat. So, I'm going to get this built up. I'm going to get one of the storage modules, because of course it's one wide tileable. I'm going to get one of those built up so that I can reference it, and then we can build the other two on camera. Alright, so here we have our two of our three bulk item storage things ready to go, and they sort of have three parts. Our traditional item sorter here, which is the torches and comparator repeater. A shulker box loader system here, and then a shulker box display system here. So, if we have, say, shulker boxes that are full, so let's actually put some stuff in this. There, if we have shulker boxes that are full, hit this button. Oh, and uh, <laughs> it'll get broken apparently. There. Let's put another shulker box in there, and we should really have these buttons on a block above, apparently. Alright, there. So now we can reach down here, take out individual items. We can reach in here, take out shulker boxes. And so if we take that out, it'll, uh, automatically pop out the next one like so and uh all this stone here is just here for now sort of stuff because uh well because we're still building now for this oh let's go grab my slabs that are dropped over here because for this display system here Regular pistons, and observers, and a chain of observers here. Now we can go up by a couple blocks, and well I guess if 
to finish off this system here, we need a comparator going in there. Need some sticky pistons. A sticky piston here. And a sticky piston there. Couple more observers and then you can cover it with the carpet i think i'm gonna use slabs i might use carpet here just so it's a little lower provide better access and then throw a button up here and this is what if if there is no shulker boxes this will allow you to dispense one after this gets restocked up. So if you run out of shulker boxes, you hit this button and you'll get uh, a new shulker box there. So into the block. And chests and hoppers. We can put regular chests beside each other now, which is nice. Hopper on top, lab on top of that. So now we're into the shulker box loader circuit. As a comparator to check this hopper here. So we're going to add that guy there and get some observers out. All right, so dispenser, a couple sticky pistons, observers, one tick repeater facing into this one, and two tick repeater facing towards this guy here. This will be where our items come in. Uh, fix that. If we can jump up onto here. Pick up this observer. There we go. And yes, we can also run. So this is where empty shulker boxes will come in. This is where our items will come in. That's why we have our item filter on this side. <clears throat> and if we just snag that guy, perfect. A couple of these up. Simple item sorter here. With a comparator. And then some dust. Now for just take out that guy for a second run a couple or we'll run them to the side again because uh things are a little more reliable that way i guess we can put a block here to get us back up just straight over again hopper to the side instead of straight down and then so this will be where items that don't fall into the filters they'll go off this way and we can take that out <clears throat> so this grab the hopper out of there this aside from not having any filters installed is the up circuit done or grab a couple droppers for this part here this is where shulker boxes will be coming in and I want to use droppers to pass them along, that way we don't get all our shulker boxes in just piling up in this hopper and there's no shulker boxes left over for this one. So we can set this up, let's grab some blocks here, we can set this up so that um, these will only pass on when it'll only pass a shulker box along when it is required that's what i'm trying to say 
and I need a redstone block. Let's go sleep. So in my original design, I had a redstone block here. And that was so that this hopper always stayed full. But if we only want to keep one shulker box in here, we just need a hopper with one item because those will be the same. And as soon as this dips below what is in here, this will turn on. This compared will turn on. And we can read that with, oh, that's going to be an issue. All right, so I relocated the dropper elevator. That way we can fit this in here. And instead of going on that block, we'll just put some redstone dust on these two. Go up by block. Oh, there's my repeaters. So one tick, one tick. For these guys. We'll have this control so we can manually set how many shulker boxes we want to be stored in there. And so what will happen is we'll just run our shulker boxes, empty shulker boxes, into this dropper. It'll fill up. All these hoppers below will we'll fill those up and fill up that. It's a lot of shulker boxes that I have to go get. But all those will fill up and then we can set like one or two in each of these droppers here and then one or two in this so that these will always keep one or two and then once one is used out of here this comparator will flash which will send a pulse through there now we also and i didn't get rails now we're also going to want to know when this dropper or this module here this slice uses a shulker box that way we can fill it as well and for that i guess we can run a comparator out of here comparator out of there and let me get up by a block run that guy there we'll need a block here and we're gonna have to oh let's see if we can get an observer like so awesome now back up all right so now just take these put a couple rails on top of there I'm not really sure when i was testing it these needed repeaters I think to spread out the delay between them but because here we're just activating this one dropper which we do need to put a block there so that it gets activated we can't activate the droppers directly because they are beside the pistons that these pistons here so we have to power them through a block like this but now we will be able to have oh and of course that just gets sucked up ah great but we'll be able to have so much so many shulker boxes in here take out this block there we go and yeah so what i have left to do is build up a dropper elevator that takes the empty shulker boxes from here, feeds them back up into that hopper there, which should be pretty easy. And then add some items for the item filter. This is already relocated. We should be good to go. Start building these other modules, just connect this up. This will have to drop down in order to go into these modules because it has to go in at the bottom but that shouldn't be an issue just a couple more hoppers and we will be looking good so here is uh, the combination of many other people's work many of other people's work in the shulker box display mostly Ilmango and Nembom 
are the two guys and then of course the standard item filter but with my own twist in passing along these shulker boxes so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for checking it out we will replace all this stone and make this all pretty i do have ideas for it and i think i got that yeah one away from center perfect planning everything is perfect planning anyways thanks you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video.